Hey there, YouTube. Tristan Blade, back again. A week has passed. Super Amino Hydro Blast from Body Fortress. The new intro workout. I don't... I don't recall Body Fortress ever coming out with an intro workout ever before. But I, 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 I really don't check intro workouts. I just saw this. It was, um, was it 20? 20 bucks at Walmart. And I decided to get it. Uh, I wanted I wanted to check it out. It comes in one flavor, like the creatine hydrochloride, good old lemon lime. In terms of taste, uh, G2 Gatorade lemon lime would taste better. Uh, it would have 80 calories for 12 ounces. If you were to make 12 ounces of this, you would have 53 calories. So you get less calories. Number two, you would also only get one gram of carbohydrates per serving, which is an eight ounce, eight ounce serving. It does not contain, I don't see, well, I mean, it's got one gram of carbohydrates. So if there's one gram of sugar, there's one gram of sugar versus, you know, I mean, versus Gatorade, which is a lot of sugar. Um, it does not taste as good as the G2. But the G3 Recover with the Hydrolyzed Whey Protein Lemon Lime flavor, it tastes a hell of a lot better than that. Um, in terms of what you get out of it, you get some vitamin A, 12% of that per day per one scoop. I only take one scoop. I don't need to be taking two of these a day. You get your chloride, sodium, potassium, which is your electrolyte blend mixed with L-taurine, which is 1.3 grams per scoop. Your recovery matrix, 1 gram of L-carnitine tartrate and 1.75 grams of glutamine. Glutamine, actually, I would say is, is something I would use for recovery. And then you get branched-chain amino acids. You get 2 grams of leucine. And then the other three grams are going to be a combination of lysine, ferronine, isolysine, valine, phenylalanine, and methi methionine. I always pronounce that fucking wrong. Methionine, okay. And... Oh, these damn crows. Basically, it comes down to... Do you want to get just a Gatorade? with the sugar and throw unflavored BCAs or whatever you want in it or do you want a ready-made branch chain amino acid mix now if you're the type of person who just grabs a Gatorade and throws branch chain amino acids in it this is not for you it's not for you uh, if you're an individual trying to cut your calories cut your carb intake this depending on your diet could help. It could. I'm not saying it will, but it could. You're only getting one carb per scoop. And if you're like me, I train for about an hour. Um, eight ounces of this. I, I myself, I mix it with ten. Ten ounces of water. Um, predominantly because eight ounces, it's a little too strong of a flavor for me. That's just me little too strong for eight ounces so ten ten is what I go with but once again only one scoop one only one I like the taste I really do um I, I never had an intra workout never ever had uh, an intra workout before but I, I do like it and it is it is you know when I'm sitting there you know I do five by fives for my training except for some like accessory moves so like today you know five by five deadlift squat um, then my accessory moves and my traps, low back, abs. So, I mean, sit there, you know, after you, a, set of, a set of deadlifts, you're just sitting there waiting. You know, got, your, got my watch, you know, checking the time. I got a minute, have a few, you know, have a sip, you know, something to do. Which, to me, helps because that way I don't sit there and start talking to people. I don't sit there and start fucking off, basically. If you're trying to go low carb and you want something to fuel your workout, this and I would, if you're trying to go low carb and you want fuel for your workout, this will help get you through a workout. 
Um, with some with, with with more glutamine. Glutamine itself can actually just be burned as a fuel source and spare glycogen reserves in your muscle. Uh, it doesn't actually say this on here at all, <laughs> but that it actually does do that for glutamine. So it, it could help you get through a, a a good workout if you're going rather low carb. That being said, I don't go low carb, but everybody out there is saying, oh, you know, amino acids will help you in a workout if you're going low carb. So, the way these people look when they say that, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say they're probably correct on it. But it's, it's not like creating monohydrate. I wouldn't recommend it to everybody. I'd recommend it to individuals that are doing something where they would want a little extra hydration, electrolyte replenishment, um, amino acids with a low calorie impact but in terms of everybody no I wouldn't recommend it I wouldn't recommend it to everybody but me I like it I take it so I'm going to be getting more of this myself um, please body fortress do not do not come out with fruit punch I, I will I will I will freak if you come out with fruit punch I hate fruit punch flavor just I really hate fruit punch flavor. <laughs> come out with like, come out with grape. I don't care. Come out with grape, purple drink. Come out with that, not fruit punch, please. Uh, next week, um, it's a toss up. Next week, I could do uh, a review of glutamine, uh, which I'm probably, I'm probably planning to do that, or I could do a review of the concentrated nitric oxide for Body Fortress, or I could do a six star. Mm, fruit punch flavor. Pre-workout. <laughs> I'll probably do glutamine um, because there's a lot of things I say about glutamine that a lot of people normally really don't say. And that's because of personal history. So, thank you. And if you, know, if you are one of those people who um, want more hydration, more amino acids, and a less caloric intake from them, I do recommend... Body Fortress, Amino Hydroblast, and I'm trying to figure this crap out. I would recommend it for you. But if you're not one of those people, steer clear of it, save your money, and just go buy something else. Peace.